Hello homies. In this video I will teach you how to make those cool ass rotations in a light motion. So if you follow my steps your transition will look something like this. So start by adding tiles effect in your clip. Then enable the mirror. This will mirror your clip. And after this, you may find some gaps like this. To fix this, you just have to press this red button over here. And increase the crop a little. Now let's make the rotations. So first add a keyframe with 0 degrees in the beginning, and one in the middle with either a positive or negative value and you can adjust the value as you like. Here I will go with minus 8 degrees. And once you are done with the values, make a graph like this. You can use any other curve too. Now add a third keyframe with a 20 degrees value and you can increase the value if you want more rotation. And make sure that the third keyframe value is opposite of the second keyframe. Now make this graph. In the second clip we have to do the same thing just change the positive value into negative and negative into positive. and do the same in other clips. Here I'm gonna remove the last keyframe because this is my last clip. Now scale in your clips to hide the tiles. And now make a slide transition. You can take any direction you like, I'm gonna make an upward slide here. Now copy my graph, if you don't know how the graph works. And if you guys want I can make a separate video on graph editor. Now we are almost done with the transitions. We just have to add some pinch, and we are done. So now add pinch bulge effect, and follow me. Now copy my settings, and place your keyframe like this, and animated the strength, and also slap that like button. Then make a graph. And duplicate this. Looks exactly like those Xan clones. Now this is not necessary, but this gives a quite nice pinch look. Animate this according to your slide transition here. I'm animating the Y axis, because I have made a vertical slide here. If you have made a horizontal slide animate the X axis. Now copy and paste these in all the clips. I'm gonna make the pinch a little faster cause I have not made any slide transition here.
Now make a small scale here. Add motion blur and adjust the strength as you like. Now I'm gonna add some shake here. Now let's see how it turns out. Now I'm gonna do some adjustments, and you might not notice the rotations, because all the clips are very similar. So now add stretch axis effect. This is also not necessary, but it gives a very cool bouncy effect. Adjust the stretch as much you like, and then animate it. And for the angle you can either follow your slide transition, or the scene you are using. Here I am going with my slide transition. And don't ask me why I am using the same curve for everything. So here I'm gonna set the angle to 90 degrees cause I'm following my slide transition. Add the stretch axis in this clip too, then animate it like we did in the previous clip. Here I'm gonna follow the scene. Here as you can see the character is opening his hand, that's why I'm gonna make a horizontal stretch here. Now everything is done, so let's see how it looks. So that's all for this video, and if you find this video helpful make sure to slap that like button.